Am I the asshole for telling a woman that she is the reason I left an after-school program? Up until a few months ago, I was the activities director of a before and after school program that also takes children in small pods for alternative school. I have my teaching license and degree and also a bachelor's degree in early childhood education, so I am extremely qualified and trained for my position. And... Since I was in the military for about six years to pay for my education, I thought I was pretty adept at being screamed at and demanded by people for no reason. One of the kids I had in my study pod, Brandon, had really bad behavioral issues. It wasn't anything related to an actual disorder, though. Brandon, to be frank... He's just a spoiled little shithead who has absolutely no parenting beyond an iPad and dismissive parents. It took about four weeks for me to realize that I couldn't stand him and one of the biggest reasons was his mother. Brandon was awful, but his mother, Brenda, was even worse. She's one of those parents who doesn't do anything to parent their child into decent humans, but rather she ignores her parental duties and then lashes out when her son is called out on his behavior. We had weekly reports we submitted on each kid in our pod. I tried everything I knew and took advice on how to help Brandon out of his behavior and nothing worked. In fact, Brandon's behavior worsened, and it seemed he was taking pleasure in behaving absomally. I tried to engage his mother to help with his behavior and quickly learned that she is a big part of the problem. She doesn't parent Brandon. She just leaves him to his electronic devices. She's one of those parents who expects everyone else to parent her kid and then lashes out when Brandon's behavior is called out. I must have had seven or eight nasty phone calls and personal meetings with her where she screamed, accused, threatened, bullied, called me nasty names. I eventually developed anxiety and depression and through therapy, realized that dealing with Brandon and his mom were a huge part of the problem. So I quit the program at the end of the term in May and I got a job elsewhere. I recently ran into Brandon's mom at the grocery store and she had the audacity to come up to me acting like we were buddies, telling me she missed having me as Brandon's teacher. Brandon missed me. No one had cared about Brandon like me. Why did I leave, etc.? So I told her point blank that she was the reason I left, that she had been an awful person and the thought of dealing with her caused me real mental anguish and stress. Basically, I unloaded on this woman in public. I called her a bitch, a bad mother, an awful person. She started crying and left the store without completing her shopping. And a couple of onlookers called me a bitch and a bully. So am I the asshole? for telling a woman that she is the sole reason I left an after-school program and quit my job? The asshole for calling out my girlfriend for living a double life? I, 23 male, have been dating my girlfriend, Jane, 21 female, for nearly a year. We go to separate colleges about 40 minutes away from one another, but we still see each other multiple times a week. I've noticed, though, that she always prefers to come to my apartment in a small town rather than me visiting her at her apartment. When we talk about family, she is always very reserved and just tells me that she's not close with hers. As far as friends go, I've met a great deal of her high school and college friends that all seem about average. Now, She has always presented herself as a broke college student and will actively say that fact whenever money comes up and laughs it off. However, I've noticed over the months that despite saying that, she refuses to eat fast food. 
She likes going on impromptu mini vacations, which by her standard are just staying within the country, but are by no means cheap. And she drives a car worth over $70,000. Last night, we met up with a few of her childhood friends to shoot pool. A few of them noticed that I drive a Tesla and that I just bought for myself brand new this year. It's my pride and joy, and I will admit that I've done quite well for myself over time and building up my own income. Here is where the red flags start. They all called her by a different name. Rather than her name that I and all of her friends I've met before call her by, they were calling her something else completely. All of these friends were also foreign, coming from Brazil, Spain, Ivory Coast, and etc. Eventually, while talking about my car, a Brazilian girl named Camelia asked Jane if she intended to ask her father to buy her one. Jane just shrugged it off awkwardly with a maybe. Throughout the night, it became glaringly obvious that all of these childhood friends came from extremely wealthy families, so I asked Jane how she met them. She said that they went to school together overseas for a while and went to summer camps together. Jane also spoke to most of them in languages other than English, mostly French or Spanish, as that's what they all seemed to know besides English. When we left back to my place, I asked her what the deal was, and she said that she does come from a well-off family, and the name that her friends called her was her actual name. She just went by a more common one when she came to our state because it was easier for people to pronounce. I felt miffed that she had been lying about her source of income for what seems like years and that she actually has a lot more money than she had let on. I asked her if I could look at her Venmo in which I see regular deposits from her father ranging from $400 to $1,000 weekly as an allowance. I called her a trust fund baby and told her that she's a liar for pretending that she doesn't actually have money when clearly she does and that she's just masquerading around lower classes and likes looking at how we all live. She got extremely upset with me and left and she is still refusing to speak to me. So am I the asshole for calling out my girlfriend for living a double life? Am I the asshole for kicking out my girlfriend? So I have a cat named Raven, who's three years old. My girlfriend of two years moved in with me a few weeks ago, and it was clear she didn't like my cat. I didn't think it was really a big deal until one day I came home and he was just gone. He's not an outdoor cat and never goes outside. He was gone for hours and I was worried sick until my buddy came to my house and returned him, saying that he found him two blocks from my house. I asked my girlfriend how my cat, who has never tried to go out before, ended up that far from my house and she admitted to kicking him out. I was furious, saying she had no right to kick him out and told her that since she thought she had the power to kick my cat out, I wanted her out of my house by the end of the month. She cried that she had nowhere else to go and that she would have to live on the streets. I said I didn't care and told her to leave by the end of the month. My friends think I'm being too harsh, but my cat could have died because of her and I don't want her trying anything else. So am I the asshole for kicking out my girlfriend who kicked out my cat for expecting my sister to be in my wedding after I did the same for her? My sister, 27 female, and I, 24 female, are close. However, we are very different people. She took the college route, became a curator at a major museum, and is currently working on her PhD. I went to cosmetology school and am working towards opening my own salon. I was incredibly honored to be in her wedding party two years ago as a bridesmaid. It was wonderful, but I felt that I made quite a number of sacrifices when it came to her wedding. I kept telling myself that when it was my turn, she would return the favor. 
Before everything went to hell in a head basket, my boyfriend and I got engaged. We decided to put a halt on the planning until we felt that we were in the clear. We're scheduled to get married next summer. Unlike my sister, who is a huge planner and detail-oriented, we are very laid back. My sister had her wedding at a place of her work, and being that her husband was an investment baker, they had a very lavish affair. We want a backyard wedding with a barbecue. We hadn't even gotten around to asking folks to be in our wedding parties. My sister and her husband were over for dinner last night, and the subject of my wedding was brought up, and my sister asked how things were going. I said, probably not up the same speed that she was, but she's going to be right up there on the big day. She asked if that was an official ask to be in the wedding party. I told her yes, and sorry, I won't be making little gifts like she did for me. She told me that that was fine, but then she got quiet and looked at her husband. I asked her what was wrong, and she told me that she will have to decline my offer. She said that honestly, she was a little weddinged out with being so heavily involved as a bridesmaid. She also said that in the next year, she has a lot going on with finishing her thesis and surprise, she was pregnant. She asked not to say anything and that they were planning to tell everyone at Christmas. She said she still wants to be involved, but on a smaller scale and just as a guest, especially since she'll have a new baby. I told her that she was selfish and after everything I had to put up with at her wedding, she owed me. She looked angry and told me that was a lie. She said I complained about the dresses being lavender, the dates of everything, and how I was the only person in the bridal party who couldn't make her bachelorette party because I wanted to go to a concert instead and we needed to change it. She talked about how she was trying to be understanding and flexible, but I made everything into a tantrum. I was lucky she didn't ask me down because she knew it would break me and she wanted me there beside her on her big day. I made her wedding about me. I told her to get out and they'd be lucky if I decided to invite them at all. My parents called asking what had happened and I told them everything. And I told them to ask them about the baby. Apparently, I made things even worse and my parents want me to come over and they want to talk to me. So am I the asshole for expecting my sister to be in my wedding after I did the same for her?